Okay, so everyone, absolutely awful news. Really, really bad news. Going to set us back at least three or four days. If you want to find out what I did to mess this job up big time, let's stay tuned. This is a big one. So, Sean, how are you feeling? Right. Yeah, not that many then. Okay, so let's just go over it right now because obviously it's dismantling time, which I don't think I've ever done before. Um, we've got eight units assembled. I'm going to now take eight units apart, put all the tools away, dust sheets away, and try and load all of this back in the van plus like I said we've got 11 doors in the van already with trims who knows how we're going to do it only got a certain amount of dust sheets to wrap up things got this long ledge to get in oh, it's going to be tough if anyone can do it we can do it can't we Sean yeah but anyway yeah so um, but the good thing is we've noticed that they are they're coming apart really quick and we are going to mark so we're just marking what they are B4 B4 um, so when it comes to reassembling, they should, in theory, go together twice as quick. But there are benefits. Another benefit is, I was talking to the customer, is that. So basically, let me go over a few details. What's happened today? Um, second day in, as you can see, I've done, we've done the whole day fitting. We've loaded up the day before, we've got to the job at seven o'clock in the morning, we've unloaded, we've done the whole day, got everything. Um, we've got all the units assembled apart from two, we've got all the bearers down, thinking that we were on a roll, doing really, really well. And then on the way to the job, second day, and bearing in mind at night on the first day, I had gone back to the workshop and loaded up all the doors and trims and other bits and pieces spent an hour and a half loading up and loading up the van once more with more gear but anyway driving to the job in high wickham and got a text message show up on my phone because i use my phone as a sat nav on my dash dashboard it just said kim um and there was like a line at the front saying at the top saying oh ryan you don't i'm i'm so sorry um so I instantly pulled over, heart started to sink, and I thought, oh, what has happened? Is it game over? I literally went pale, all the blood went out of my face. Anyway, pulled over in the lay-by, and I realized that I had sprayed both jobs the wrong colors, so the wrong way round. So the media gym unit wanted to be dark gray, and the library unit wanted to be sky blue, and I've got them around the wrong way. So, yeah, you can imagine, absolute distraught. Just come around the side of the house, spoken to the customer about an hour ago. We've been, set, um, we've been taking apart units, we've been putting tools away, talking to the customer, figuring out how we can get back on track and how quickly we can get this back um, and fitted for them. So I've said about two weeks. <sighs> so I've kind of figured out that the day yesterday was wasted, so that's, that's a whole day wasted. Today is going to be wasted, so that's two days wasted. Then I need to respray everything. It's probably going to be about a day and a half worth of spraying in total, hours wise. And then to get it back up to the standards where we are right now, up to eight carcasses being installed, um, up to eight carcasses being assembled, I'm estimating about four, four and a half days wasted plus the extra time, plus the extra paint materials to paint everything. Pain in the ass, absolutely gutted. Not like I could really afford to make a mistake. Time-wise also, it's gonna mess up all my jobs. I need to email all my customers and just say there's gonna be a two week delay, but hopefully we can get back in a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna show you around and show you us dismantling everything because it's quite heartbreaking. And, and because we got so much in the van already, when we first loaded up, we struggled to get the first batch in without paint touching paint. We just want to put dust sheets in between. But now we've got another batch of doors and stuff. We need to figure out how to get all this in the van and brought back in one load because it's about a 45 minute drive. I don't want to do two hits. Anyway, let's go in. 
and I'll show you us dismantling. Another benefit is, I was talking to the customer, is that I was um, going to clean out my sprayers the other day. And I said, oh, I'm just going to leave the paint in the sprayers just in case. And that was a good thing, actually, because I didn't clean them out. I still got the blue and the grey in the sprayers, which means I could just pump some more paint in the sprayers and spray the sky blue, the grey, and then the grey, the sky blue. And we were taking biscuits out, unscrewing shelf pegs, dusting them off, stacking them up in size order, and then we're going to try and get them in the van somehow. But um, yeah, not good. Right, so I've never taken a unit apart like this. Weird, isn't it, Sean? Yeah, so we're just taking the biscuits out and just dusting down, getting them in a the pile. Nearly there. Right, so we're at 10 o'clock and we've been here since about half past seven. And all we've done is dismantle all the carcasses and clean up all the tools. So not so bad, really. Two and a half hours. Um, but we're all done and we're ready to stack. But this is the hard part. Let me just show you exactly what we need to get inside this small wheel base van. All of these, all of these backings, sides, more over here, more here, more here, here, all of these, all of these, all of these, this, 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 one 3.1 meter ledge, few, pe few pieces over there, all these dust sheets. More panel, more here, hoover, doors, lots of them, pop up and wait for it. And all of this. Mad, isn't it? Do you think that's all going to go in? Oh, any more? Trims, just to add insult to injury. And more boxes. And more boxes. And we've already got this in here. And we've already got a ladder and some bits at the top in this small van. Sean, are we going to do it? Yeah. We have to. Okay. There's no, we're well, having faith, yeah. But all of that has got going here. Got enough area, but it's how to get it in. The game of Tetris, I'm good at Tetris. Watch this space. Okay, so it's half past 11, so we've been four hours since we got here to speak to the customer unscrew all eight carcasses clean them down and stack up the entire van don't think we have done too badly whatsoever look at all of that just yeah i can't believe we did it to be honest and just a bit worried even though i am respraying i still don't want to have paint to paint which i've tried not to anyway there we go next stage is quickly shake those sheets out head back to the workshop, unload it, and then we'll come back and see how long this has actually taken. We'll weigh up how much it's gonna cost me to solve this problem, how many days it's gonna take, and how much headache I'm gonna have ultimately. So, let's go. Right, back at base, time to get all of this out. It survived, nothing fell over. It's going to take at least an hour, isn't it? Yeah. Back in, we are at half past 12. And to say I'm stressed is a very big understatement. As you can see, there is nothing left in here. This was all full to the brim. So the job is to unload that whole van and make two piles in here, most likely up against there, all the way around, all the way around here, and we're just going to stack them up. Yep. So we have reached two o'clock and we have done it, haven't we, Sean? Yeah. It took an hour to unload, didn't it? Yeah. And how long did it take to load in? Two and a half hours. Yeah, two and a half in. What? Hours. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, getting it out was easy. Um, let's show you where we've stacked it. You can see me smiling. Don't know why I'm smiling. 
yeah, I'm just so disappointed what's happened. The time and effort it's going to take to sort of rectify the problem is pretty massive, but it needs to be done. I don't do it or I don't get paid and I give back the deposit. Um, so the downside is I need to respray, need to order new paint. Um, and this dark gray, dark blue needs to go that color. All of that sky blue color needs to go the dark blue color. So yeah, big mistake, isn't it? Big mistake. So spin the camera around. I'll let you know what I think is going to set me back. So basically to get all the equipment there and all the materials there, I think it's best part of a day, if not a day and a quarter. It's taken us three quarters of a day to get there today and to come back and unload it again, just basically starting from fresh. The difference is I need to spray everything behind me. So I'm down two-ish days. So it depends how quick it takes me to respray these. So obviously I've got Sean's cost for the two days at the moment, and then we go and refit. We're kind of wasting another day because we're just getting back to where we were. Yeah. So that's three days and then the spraying on top. So that is my own time and the paint. So I'm going to estimate we are about three days down on Sean's side, me paying him and probably about four to four and a half days on my side because I need to spray everything. Plus I need to sort out the paint materials. Um, Overall, not the end of the world. I need to still smile, otherwise, don't know what I'd do. Um, yeah, it's a tough one to take, but it's rectifiable. Um, if I've got components wrong, which to be honest, I don't know yet because we haven't finished the job, then I'd be, don't know what I'd do. But anyway, thanks for the support, everyone. If you feel like following, subscribing, hit the subscribe button. If you want to join the membership, support the channel, support the deficits, the money I'm down, feel free to become a member, join. Isn't it, Sean? Yeah. Say join the membership to support the cause. <laughs> Do that, all right? Anyway, cheers, guys. Thanks for everything. See you in the next video. Ciao for now. Mm -hmm.